In this example, we want to find a general solution and sketch a phase portrait for a constant coefficient system. We have the system minus two, minus one, five, zero x for x prime. And our first step here is always to find the eigenvalues, which are given by determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero, or in this case, minus two minus lambda, zero minus lambda plus five, which is lambda squared plus two lambda plus five equals zero. That's not gonna factor. And the quadratic formula will tell us then that we should have lambda equaling negative two plus or minus the square root of four minus four times five is 20 over two, negative two plus or minus root minus 16 over two, which is minus one plus or minus two i. So at the outset, we know this will be a spiral and it'll be a spiral sink because the real part of the eigenvalue is negative. But in order to find the general solution to actually sketch this, we need the eigenvector. I'm going to take the plus version here. The minus one works the same way. You can take that either one. Matrix then becomes minus two minus negative one plus two i, negative one, five, zero minus negative one plus two i. Combine the numbers together. This is negative one minus two i, negative one, five, and one minus two i. I can multiply the top row by minus one just to get rid of those minus signs. One plus two i, one, five, and one minus two i. And then multiply the top row by the conjugate of that first entry. So times one minus two i, which will give me that this becomes one minus two i plus two i plus four is five, one minus two i, five, one minus two i. So the rows are in fact redundant. That's a quick check the eigenvalue was done correctly. And so a result in the equation five v one plus one minus two i v two equals zero. The easiest way to probably solve this is to pick v1 to be 1 minus 2i and v2 to be minus 5, and that will solve this equation. I basically just cross them up, pick values here appropriately. So the vector we get is 1 minus 2i and minus 5. This means we can write a complex solution as 1 minus 2i minus 5 e to the minus 1 plus 2i t. Now we have to apply Euler's formula, let's put this into real and imaginary parts, so I can get my two different solutions for solving initial value problems and or getting the general solution. I'm going to apply Euler's formula here, distribute everything through into the vector, boil everything out, and then collect the real and imaginary parts to get my two independent solutions. So the real parts will be this cosine, this plus two sine, and the minus five cosine here, and the imaginary are the sine here, the minus two i cosine, and then the sine in the bottom. And then this is our x1 first solution. This is our x2 second solution. We can then use to write out the general solution, which will be c1 times that first solution, and then plus c2 times the second one. Now our last step here is to sketch out the phase portrait. So for the phase portrait, I need to just craft one of these two solutions and see which way it spins. I know the rotation is gonna go in towards the center because it is a spiral sink, but I gotta figure out the direction. We can draw some axes here. I'm gonna focus on this second solution here. It does not matter which one you pick, both will work just fine. So if I plug in t equals zero here, the sine term goes to zero, this goes to zero, and this will go to one, one, and minus two. So I'm at minus two on the x and zero on the y, so I am somewhere over here. Then if I plug in pi over four, where the cosine goes to zero, I get a one in the first component and a minus five in the second, and then times e to the minus pi over four. So it's going to be positive in x, negative in y. So we're going to be down here somewhere. Now we know that it has to then come around this way because if it did not, it would have to cross over this axis. And I know the next point that the y coordinate goes to zero is when this vanishes at pi over two. So then pi over two is gonna come around and be somewhere in here-ish because cosine of pi is negative one. And that will tell me that I'm spiraling around in this direction here. And that's going in towards the center. The spiral out then tracks in the opposite direction, out like that. And then the sink, these arrows all point inward. We can then fill in other graphs to get a more detailed picture of this spiral sink for this problem. That's how you can approach, set up, and solve these sorts of problems to get general solutions and get phase portraits for consequential systems when you have complex eigenvalues.